everyone. Annihasio yo munchen. Jujibnida. I'm Suzu and in today's video I'm gonna do something very Halloweenish and that is carving a pumpkin. Now these pumpkins are a little bit small. I got an even smaller one. But I thought this would be super cute to carve. Um, I'm not sure if I made it myself more difficult to make them smaller or easier. I'm not sure. I've never done this before. But I've been wanting to carve a pumpkin for so long. So here we go. But I think it's a little bit of a waste if you have a beautiful pumpkin like these and then you carve them and then just let them rot outside. So I have a different plan for today. After I've carved this pumpkin, I'm going to turn the pumpkin into hobakchu. And hobakchu is a Korean dish. It is a pumpkin porridge. It is a sweet dish. And you can also put some rice cake in it if you want to. I don't have rice cake today, so we'll do without it. But I remember that when I was in Korea, I would eat hobakchu when I was sick. Uh, actually, my Korean friend brought me hobakchu to make me feel better, so... I have fond memories of Hobakchu. But before we're gonna start this video, I really want to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel because it would help me so much. And without any further ado, let's start. Let's do this. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I'm not entirely sure how to do this without hurting myself. quite difficult. I don't have the M arm power yet. Ooh. If you really want to be zero waste, besides throwing away the skin, uh, then you should keep the pumpkin seeds because they are actually really nice to eat. Like what I normally do is I uh, let them dry and then after I slightly roast them and then I keep them in a jar to eat for later. I got all the seeds out and I guess now the real fun begins. I'm a little bit scared of doing this actually. I heard like watching it like this is the best way to carve. <gasps> oh no, I didn't before. Yeah, how do I get this out? <gasps> oh! <laughs> I did one eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so cute already! I'm sorry, I'm way too excited about this. <laughs> but I think the mouth will be the hardest. Okay, this is actually going pretty well according to plan. Also kids, if you're doing this at home, watch for your fingers. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> oh my god, I love it! for making this. <laughs> Maybe I should do this one too. Oh, 
They are so cute! The only problem is, is that because they are small, they don't have a lot of air, so the candles will burn out if I put the top on it for longer than a few seconds. But I got some good pictures, so I'm happy about that. What I've learned is carving a pumpkin is not that hard, but be careful with knives. I'm really glad I used this one instead of this one, because I think with this one I could have hurt myself pretty badly, but this one was better. But I think this one worked because these pumpkins are not too big, and I really love this face. So now we got to say goodbye to these beautiful babies and make them into hobachu. So what we're gonna do first for hobachu is taking the skin off. We just want the pumpkin meat, so to say. So we're gonna start carving again. And then once you've peeled it, then you're gonna cut it into cubes. It doesn't matter if the cubes are not very beautiful or uneven, because we will use a mixer to turn the pumpkin into smooth porridge. Eh, okay, all pumpkins are cut. So this amount of pumpkin is about half a kilogram. So I'll have to do the recipe in half because for this recipe you need one kilogram. Um, but this is half, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll be doing the recipe in half, but I will put the whole recipe in my description box down below so that you guys can make it as well if you want to. Okay, so I need two and a half cup of water to add to this. So what we're gonna do now is boil these pumpkins with a lid on for 20 minutes until they're soft. And then, and then we will mash the pumpkin. But first, let's cook. And while we're cooking our pumpkin, I'm going to take all the seeds out of this and then I'm just gonna let them dry on some paper towels. So what you want to do when you have these is just popping the seeds out. I'm not sure if I can show you from close. So just take them out like this. And there's lots and lots of them, so... <laughs> and then once you've dried them and toasted them, they will be like this. Ooh. And you can put this in your hobachu as well if you want to, or just eat them like this, or use them for something else. Let's see if the pumpkin is soft enough by poking it with a fork and then we're gonna mix it with the mixer to make it into a porridge. Just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. And then we're gonna add some cornstarch with water. Actually, I'm not using cornstarch, I'm using Mayenza. But you can also use rice flour if you want to. So whatever you have to make this porridge a bit thicker. Actually, my porridge was a little bit watery. I just needed my porridge to be more thick, so I actually cooked it for a longer amount of time. Just be careful if you cook it, because um, it can become a volcano real quickly, and it's really hot and painful if you get that on you. And then I'm adding a little bit of salt and a spoon of sugar to make it even sweeter. Actually, you can adjust the amount of sugar to your liking. If you want it sweeter, you can add more. If you aren't really a sweet tooth, then you can add less. And that's it. You can add some pumpkin seeds or rice balls if you want, or just eat it plain. And yeah, that's it. And that's it. That's how you make hobachu. And now I'm gonna taste it. You can really taste the pumpkin, and it is sweet because of the pumpkin and the sugar that you added. And then with the seeds, you add a little bit of crunch. So that was the video for today and I wish you all a very happy Halloween. I hope that even though the circumstances, you can still enjoy it with scary movies, maybe some hot bakchu and carving pumpkins and things like that. So yeah. 
So I hope you all really liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, then don't forget to subscribe. It would help me so much to make more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> so here we have it, two carved pumpkins. Ooh. All right, so all the pumpkins are cut. Ooh.